Today our object is to determine the concentration of given unknown NaOH solution with the help of oxalic acid of normality n by 10 solution. We will perform this experiment with the help of single titration method. We know that titration is a technique where a solution of known concentration is used to determine the concentration of an unknown solution. The reagents of known concentration is known as titrant and the substance being titrated is known as analyte. Here NaOH is analyte and oxalic acid is titrant. For performing these experiments, we need some apparatus. These apparatus are burette, pipette, conical flask, burette stand, funnel, measuring flask and all the necessary equipment. For these, for these titration, we also required some reagents. These reagents are standard solution of oxalic acid having n by 10 normality and sodium hydroxide solution. In this titration, we are using phenolphthalene as an indicator whose molecular formula is C20H14O4. In this titration, NaOH is a strong base and oxalic acid is a weak acid. When we are using these pair, always phenolphthalene is used as an indicator. The completion of the reaction is detected by some physical change produced by the indicator as end point. The end point is a point where solution changes from colorless to pink color. Principle of the titration is on adding NaOH solution in oxalic acid solution immediately neutralization reaction takes place. We can see this in the given reaction. Here CWH single bond CWH is the chemical formula of oxalic acid and on the other hand Na single bond OH is the chemical formula of sodium hydroxide. Due to polarization effect, CWO of oxalic group acquires partial negative charge and H atom of oxalic group acquires partial positive charge. On the other hand, NaOH of Na acquires partial positive charge and OH acquires slightly negative charge. When OH minus of NaOH and H plus of oxalic group gets react then eliminates water molecule and sodium oxalato is formed as a main product. For performing this titration, firstly we have to prepare standard solution of oxalic acid. Question arises, how can we prepare standard solution of oxalic acid? So, when we are calculating equivalent weight for powdered form, then we use the formula W is equals to E and V upon 1000, where E is equivalent weight of substance, N is normality for which solution is to be prepared and V is volume of solution. We know that equivalent weight equals to molecular mass upon basicity. Molecular mass for oxalic acid is calculated by using the formula. We know that formula of oxalic acid is CWOH taken twice dot 2H2O. We have 2 carbon, 4 oxygen, 2 hydrogen. And by putting, and by putting the molecular mass of all the element, we get 126 gram as an equivalent weight of oxalic acid. Putting this value in the given formula, here we are putting 126 gram in place of molecular mass and basicity is 2 for oxalic acid, then we get 63 gram as an equivalent weight. And after putting the value of E, N and V, we get W is equals to 0.63 gram as a weight for oxalic acid. Now we have to prepare solution of NaOH of n by 10 normality. We know that molecular mass of NaOH is equals to 40 gram. We calculate by using this. We have to, we know that Na equals to 23 gram, oxygen equals to 16 and hydrogen is equals to 1. By adding all the molecular mass, we get NaOH equal to 40 gram. 
we are using the formula equivalent weight is equals to molecular mass upon acidity we know that molecular mass for NaOH is 40 gram and acidity for NaOH is 1 so we get 40 gram as an equivalent weight again we are using the formula W is equals to E N and V upon 1000 for determining the weight of NaOH by putting the values we get W is equals to 0.4 gram for preparing the solution of desired normality 0.4 gram of NaOH should be dissolved in 100 ml of distilled water during the experiment we have to record readings reading is recorded in the observation table the observation table is given below First column shows volume of acid taken by pipette in milliliter. Second column shows reading of burette. Second column gets divided into two parts. First is initial reading and second one is final reading. And the last column shows volume of used NaOH in milliliter. Now we start the procedure of the experiment. This is a clamp stand. This is a burette having 50 ml and this is a beaker having 200 ml of capacity. First of all, we have to clean our apparatus. I have already cleaned the burette first with the distilled water and then rinsed it with any OH solution in such a way that any OH has covered all the sides of our burette so that the concentration does not change. Now we will fill the burette with NaOH solution so as after moving the knob of the burette for adjusting the level of NaOH solution in the burette. The solution has to be up to zero mark. The precaution used in this experiment is there is no air bubble present in the burette. Now oxalic acid is used so for this I am already taken 10 ml of oxalic acid with the help of 10 ml pipette into the conical flask. We are adding 1 or 2 drop of phenolphthalein indicator solution into the conical flask containing 10 ml of oxalic acid solution. Means that we are reaching our end point. On adding 3 or 4 drops of any OH solution from the burette. Now you can see that pink color is not disappearing which indicates the completion of reaction between any OH and oxalic acid. Now we are recording our first final burette reading into the observation table. You can see that our first final reading is 8.3 ml. Similarly, whole process should be repeated till two concordant readings are obtained. This is our observation table. Here we are recorded some readings. First column shows volume of acid taken by pipette in ml. Second column shows reading of burette which is divided into two parts that is initial reading and final reading of burette containing NaOH solution. Last column shows volume of used NaOH in ml. By using above readings, we calculate the normality of NaOH solution. For calculating the normality of NaOH solution, we are using law of equivalence which is N1V1 is equals to N2V2. N1 is equals to normality of NaOH, V1 is equals to volume of NaOH, N2 is equals to normality of oxalic acid and V2 is equals to volume of oxalic acid, N1V1 equals to N2V2. By putting the values of V1, N2 and V2, we get the value of N1 which is 1 by 8.6 equivalence per liter. Now we can calculate the concentration of NaOH in gram per liter in this manner. Concentration of NaOH in gram per liter is equals to normality of NaOH into equivalent weight of NaOH. By putting all these values, we get concentration of NaOH is equals to 4.651 gram per liter. And this is our final result. Strength of the given NaOH solution is 4.651 gram per liter. For performing experiments, some precautions must be kept in mind. First one is all the apparatus must be cleaned properly. Second one, there should be no air bubble inside the burette. 
थर्ड वन इज बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द एक्सपेरिमेंट रिंस द ब्यूरेट विथ गिवन सोल्यूशन एंड ऑन दी वन और टू ड्रॉप्स ऑफ इंडिकेटर शुड बी यूज टूडे वी हैव स्टडी हाउ टू डिटरबाइन द कंसनट्रेशन ऑफ गिवन अनोन एनी ओ एच सोल्यूशन विथ द हेल्प ऑफ ऑक्जेलिक एसिड सोल्यूशन ऑफ नोन नॉर्मेलिटी वी हैव परफॉर्म एक्सपेरिमेंट रिकॉर्डेड रीडिंग्स एंड फाउंड द रिजल्ट एट लास्ट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट एसेंशियल प्रिकॉशंस If you found this video helpful to you please like subscribe and share our channel thank you